it seems like every few days we're getting one of these stories, like a library's hiring in, in someone very inappropriate. There was in Bristol, there was this uh, sort of the sex show for five-year-olds. And now the Royal College of Nursing uh, for, had the super camp drag story time event and for a bunch of toddlers for zero to seven. Uh, and it just uh, uh, to celebrate LGBTQ+. And this is, frankly, what happens when you put the TQ+, plus onto it, that that is somehow... What, what, what are these sort of five-year-olds, four-year-olds learning by seeing the Super Camp drag story time event? And a lot of nurses were quite annoyed because they pay £200 a year to be part of the Royal College of Nursing. Mm. And it's all about promoting sort of um, their workplace situations and it's about negotiating pay for them. And the Royal College of Nursing is supposed to look after them in a workplace sense. How does this help them? It does not. Yeah. Like, r raising awareness about LGBT nurses and how they work in the workplace and focusing on them. That would be a better use and of And their money. needs. And sorting, yeah. Out, yeah. sorting out nurses and their pay and conditions yes. and what they've yeah. been through during the pandemic and addressing nurses who have to go to food banks just to eat. But not putting on a pantomime for toddlers because then the Royal College of Nurses is assuming that all of their nurses... A, have children, and B, have children of a particular age. So they're well, putting on this thing... Big business, uh, I don't think corporations, got... uh, trade unions, the public sector, they're, they're all going for this. I think they're getting their foot in the door with trans ideology at an early age. Josh, what do you think? Yes, I think that's exactly part of it. It's been recommended by Stonewall and pushing the, through these things. It's selling a message yeah, to kids a... that, oh, look... You think you're a boy or you're a girl, but you're not necessarily. If, you, if you're a boy that plays with dolls, maybe you're a girl, which is a conversation I don't think a five-year-old should be having. I mean, yeah, it, when you're just... 18, knock yourself out, as far as I'm concerned, but not when you're five. Yeah. yeah. Go When you're 18, find out who your real parents are <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, sort, and sort out your, your gender issues.